Hello, 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 unstoppables. Well, dream deep, aim high. It's your turn to fly and fly and fly and fly higher and highest, you know. Well, how do you do that? Today, you know, I will be talking to all of you lovelies and unstoppable people about six mesmerizing and vibrational traits by which, you know, you can become absolutely irresistible to the people that you interact with. And the fact is that you look good, you feel good, you know, because you're feeling good, you're looking good. And there is an air of power about you. So what are those simple six traits? Number one, number one, Sing your own song. Never follow anyone. Be trendsetters and not trend followers. Remember Robert Frost, um, The Path Not Taken? I think it's a wonderful uh, piece of poetry because in that it says that if you have to, you know, carve a special niche for yourself on planet Earth, then you have to do things your way in your own unique style. So if there is something that you really want to do badly, give wings to your spontaneity and creativity and just go for it. And let others see the kind of amazing, amazing qualities that you have. Don't just let them be inside you. Don't let them be dormant. Manifest them, take them out, you know, show the world what stuff you're made of and you know just be irresistible a person who does things differently is always a unique person yes it's right that initially you know it could be that people will not really um maybe they'll say that you know you've gone nuts or you're bonkers and why are you doing something so different and people don't even know about it but the fact is my lovely people that you know, you are doing your own thing, you are doing it in your way, and sooner or later, everybody will understand your work. You have just got to keep going, you know, be unstoppable, be unique, be ubiquitous, and be unbeatable, and do it your way. Don't let others tell you how to do things here. The second trait, the second mesmerizing trait that all of you should have is. What is it? Well, it is that you need to have oodles and oodles of confidence, you know, because a person who has confidence is a person who's just loved by people. You know, because you carry yourself in such a wonderful way that people get attracted to you. They want to listen to you. They look up to you because you're so confident. You're not jittery, you're not sloppy, you're not clumsy. You know what it is that you are going or moving towards and you know how to get there. So there is this powerful magnet, magnetism about you which reeks confidence. So confidence makes you look wonderful. Confidence makes you look unique. Confidence makes you look smart. Confidence makes you look unstoppable. Confidence makes you you ubiquitous. So confidence is the second mesmerizing trait that you must always have because you need to be confident about whatever you're doing. So you give yourself those kind of empowering routines and you know that confidence will just come. If you know that you're good at something, you need to enhance those skills, enhance them and show them to the world. You know, it's a time of when sometimes one needs to beat one's own trumpet, you know. I mean, yes, there was a time when we said, oh, this person beats their own trumpet all the time. But, you know, in today's world, you need to beat your own trumpet. You need to show the world what stern stuff you're made of and just go for it. Next, you need to be committed. Point number three is what I'm talking about. You need to be committed to this feeling of love. You know, you need to be committed to love. Love is just about everything. And I keep on saying this, my favorite line said, you know, love is a precious blessing for it's all things 
bright and fair, like the glow of evening sunset. It's a gift beyond compare. If you have love by your side, you know, you can achieve just about anything. Life can become worthwhile. Life can become beautiful because love is empowering. You have, love, you have a loving family. You have a loving partner. You have people who love you. You love people and they love you back. I think this is the most precious gift that you can have and you can give to people, which is love. It's a powerful word, L. O V E. So if you are committed to the feeling of love, you will have that magnetic quality which will make people want to spend time with you, would, which would make people be approachable towards you. Know, tell me, would someone actually want to meet a person who seems who's so grumpy, who's not smiling, uh, who the moment the person enters the room? What happens when such people enter the room who have a long drawn face, everybody wants to just run away or they want to stay at a, at a far distance away as possible from that person. On the contrary, if you're smiling, if you, you know, you're generally concerned about everyone, you care, you, you shower love, you, you shower happiness, people will just be drawn to you. Like, you know, it's actually like those bees to the honey. So that's the kind of impact that you will have. So remember that. Then what's the next thing? The next thing, the next mesmerizing quality that all of you can have, you know, in order to be absolutely irresistible to everyone around you is that you need to, you know, um, you need to live in this kind of a vibration that, you know, you have enough. You know, you need to be thankful for the mercies in life. Be the, be the mercy small or be them big. But just be thankful for the little or big mercies in your life. Be thankful. Be thankful that you are, you know, this is actually living in a, in a vibration of abundance. Think that you have enough. I am enough. Say this to yourself. You know, self-affirm. I am enough. I have enough. And you know, once you start believing this, once you start saying this to yourself, automatically the abundance just keeps on increasing day by day. It doesn't become less. It increases many, many fold. You know, that is the kind of enigma that you, you know, actually spread when you are living in abundance. So, you know, see, we all are going to be having challenges in life. Life is not so easy, my friends, and life can be highly unfair at times. Life is a roller coaster, you know. Sometimes you're going up, sometimes you come a little down, but that shouldn't make you unstoppable. You should have those survival techniques to actually deal with everything. And if you have these qualities, and if you have the quality of abundance, it's okay, you know, it's okay if, you know, you lose your most precious thing. It's okay if you lose your job. It's okay if someone just walks out, of, out on you and they stop supporting you. It's okay if, you know, um, you're, not, you're not able to actually maybe buy something that you feel will add to, you know, your status. You already have enough. You just need to explore it well. You just need to use the things that you have in hand well. You know, what we keep on doing and the kind of mistake that we keep on making is that we keep on running after the things that we don't have and we ignore the things that we have with us. And this also goes for relationships. We ignore our family members. We ignore our parents. We ignore our partner. We ignore our brothers, our sisters, you know, and we run after people here and there forgetting that, you know, we have the world with us. So if you start living in abundance and thinking that you have so much, you know, that abundance, that whatever it is that you're desiring will just keep on flowing towards you. It will not go away from you. It will come towards you because you are living in abundance. Just think about it and just continuously keep on saying the words, you know, to God Almighty, 
thank you god for all the blessings thank you god i'm so grateful i appreciate all the blessings all the love that you have been showering upon me my loved ones my family members and see the power you have and the fifth quality the fifth mesmerizing vibrational trait that will take you places is also focusing on your health you know um the way you feel and i'm not only talking about physical health i'm also talking about mental health so you need to uh, not only look after yourself like following a self care regime do that you know spend some time with yourself every day you know do something that you enjoy doing every day i have said this in my earlier video also and i've given you a plan acronym you can definitely uh, go back to that video where i've given you um p l a n and that will tell you on how to you know do that little self care routine for yourself mentally as well as physically and yes eat well sleep well love a whole lot smile a whole lot spend time with people who enrich your life because that's therapeutic that's rejuvenating and your health physical as well as mental will be very good so stay away from toxicity do not fall into illusions of truth do not become a, a prey to illusions of truth do not become so uh, jittery and so vulnerable that people take advantage of you and you will not become um vulnerable if you are physically and mentally strong and healthy so just remember that and finally what is that vibrational trait that you must have in order to make people be drawn towards you you know everyone will just admire you love your company enjoy your company and there is no rocket science involved over here believe you me what is this thing you know this is listen more you know i have always felt that a good conversationalist is a good listener i've been telling my friends my students um my clients you know whoever has been coming to me for some kind of a support and help that you know you must listen you must make a habit of listening because you already know whatever it is that needs to be known but perhaps the other person will be able to tell you something more and that will add to your learning it's always a good idea to listen to someone you know listening is empowering listening enriches you and plus when you're listening to other the other person feels that you are it's it's not that you're ignoring them you you they are important for you because when you have somebody in front of you and you look here you're talking to that person but you look here you look there you look somewhere else and you you yeah hmm, say what you have to say well that's not right my friends that's the worst faux pas that you can commit and it means clearly that you are not a transparent person you are not a transparent person you are a person of artificiality you're not a genuine person at all because you are not listening you're not a person is in front of you and you are looking here and there and thinking about other things picking up your phone and scrolling through you know the messages this is just not right this needs to be thrown out of the window i could just go on and on talking about this but for now you know maybe i could make another video on powerful listening and all the qualities that can come from powerful listening you don't know the unimaginable things that can happen when you start listening more you won't know it until unless you start practicing it so my dear lovelies unstoppables start practicing this six traits maybe you've heard about them but you haven't put them into action so now is the time to gear up and get into action and yes if you need to get in touch with me for a tarot session or for a session where you need some kind of a help you know counseling a psychotherapic session you know then it's easy just whatsapp at 9910367246724 and yes do follow me 
and us on our social media handles. So if you go to YouTube, this is it, you know, Chilparko International. We have everything over here from education, um, from inspiration, from health, from meditation, from tarot, uh, everything that you can just about you know, you can think about. And soon we will have a lot of traveling things also in this uh, for all of you. And we'll be talking about certain places to visit where, you know, and the kind of learning that can come out of it. And of course, we have a lot of international conferences that we upload over here and a lot of sessions, you know, um, passionate sessions from experts, which you can always find on the channel. And yes, um, Facebook, facebook.com slash alkas tarot for tarot readings and tarot rituals and um, dreams. Yeah, and what your dreams mean, basically color therapy and flower therapy and also facebook.com slash alkas education and LinkedIn, you can find me by the name Alka Mahajan. And if you want to get in touch with me through mail, it's alkamahajan1 at gmail.com and Instagram, yes. Hashtag Alkastar. With that, love, stay happy, stay blessed, keep learning, keep growing, and keep the faith. Take care. Bye-bye.